Space Shuttle Endeavour is cleared to land at its final destination at the California Science Center. The shuttle is being pivoted 90 degrees to its launch position to go on display at the Exposition Park. It was moved to a new display facility last week. It was a relatively short move, but they certainly took their time. And overnight crews started the work you see right here on screen, getting the spacecraft in its vertical position. The process takes hours and involves two cranes as they gently lift the 172,000 pound vehicle between two solid rocket boosters. An opening date for the display has not yet been set. And the shuttle was retired 13 years ago, but while it was still active, had a few connections to Maine. For one, Maine astronaut Chris Cassidy actually piloted the spaceship. This video is from his spacewalk in 2009. He flew on the Endeavour to the International Space Station with six other astronauts and one of the world's most expensive carpools to work. This was Cassidy's first trip to space and he did three spacewalks, largely working on replacing batteries. One of those spacewalks had to be cut short when carbon dioxide built up in Cassidy's suit. He grew up in York and graduated from York High School, by the way. One other connection between Maine and the shuttle, it carried a little piece of Maine into orbit back in 1998. New Center Maine's Sid Whitaker has the story. Pine tree seeds and water from the Penobscot River may not add up to much, but they equal a career highlight for math teacher Mike Hutchins. NASA liked it so much, they decided to take it for a ride. It's just thrilling. I've been involved with NASA since 1990. I was a Krista McAuliffe fellow. And uh, just from then on, I've been hooked on the space program and the technology and everything that's NASA has been involved. But this is the first time Hutchins will be involved with a NASA mission. The experiments he created study how gravity position, affects the growth area. rate of the seeds and, uh, and the, the acid level is, of the water. Uh, but the Brewer High experiment won't be the only one aboard the shuttle. Another colleague's flying silly putty, light bulbs, magnets, just to see if you know, if microgravity and you know, zero space has any, has any effect on those, on those uh, items. The Brewer experiment is believed to be the first mission from Maine to fly aboard the space shuttle. And that's pretty exciting for the students. We launched rockets and we made paper airplanes. We launched the rockets, we made the rockets, we launched the airplanes and we made the airplanes. Sid Whitaker with that. That's a safe touchdown.